We are continuing our pre-election series on the candidates running for uh, upcoming races. And up next is the 11th District Congressional Race in Brooklyn and Staten Island, which is one of the most closely watched elections in the country. Yeah, Fox has Morgan McKay sat down with both candidates that are vying for this seat. And she joins us now with part one, which is Democrat Max Rose. Morgan. You're exactly right, Stephen Teresa. Max Rose running once again for the 11th Congressional District. Here's how he would tackle some of the top issues facing his district. It's a district that former President Donald Trump won by over seven points. A tough district for Democratic candidates, but that isn't deterring Max Rose from running again. The problems right now and the issues at stake from a woman's right to make decisions about her own reproductive health to actually having a real strategy and plan to address inflation and public safety. That's what matters to me right now. Rose was first elected to represent New York 11 in 2018, but lost to Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis two years later. But he's back with a message. With crime rates spiking, he says that the solution is investing in police officers and giving judges discretion to set higher bail on people they believe to be dangerous. What's happening in New York City right now is this culture and this state of criminal recidivism where people commit low-level crimes. They know that they're going to be back out on the streets the next day. We need to have judicial discretion. Rose also acknowledged that more needs to be done to help those struggling with mental illness in order to help people feel safer riding the subway. He says he supports strengthening Kendra's law, which allows for people to be committed involuntarily and creating more inpatient facilities. He also believes there needs to be a federal movement behind addressing mental health. We need a national mental health strategy here. And tied into that would be a strategy to end homelessness. Tied into that would be a strategy to improve public safety. But it all begins with mental health. The 11th district is made up of many working class New Yorkers. Countless firefighters, police officers and more call Staten Island home. Rose says he wants to see those first responders receive a pay boost. They're put in awful situations on a daily basis where we expect, ex expect for them to succeed, but don't give them the resources uh, to do so. Uh, it's one of the reasons why at the height of COVID, uh, I thought it was the right thing to do for the federal government to get millions and billions of dollars to New York City so we didn't fire cops and teachers and firefighters. In recent months, a number of asylum seekers flooding onto Staten Island has grown, and some hotels have been turned into shelters to help house these migrants. We asked Rose three times if he would support or oppose more migrant shelters in his district. In each answer, Rose sidestepped the question. This is a bipartisan failure that they are handling this right now with an absence of resources to support the state and local government and an absence of comprehensive immigration reform. That's the tragedy. Certainly, I'm not for people sleeping on the street. But in the absence of a coherent federal strategy, then, then we, we, we can't just continue to deal with this in isolated cases. Rose places a blame for the immigration crisis at President Joe Biden's feet. He is also calling, though, for a change to the top of the ticket in 2024, saying it's time for a new generation of leadership. The average age of House members is 58 years old. We need a new generation of leadership. I don't want Donald Trump to run. I don't want Joe Biden to run. Um, I think the problems that we are facing right now and the division and the vitriol where this country is being ripped apart, it would be a significant plus for us to have new leadership across the board. And early voting starts on Saturday. Stephen Teresa. Yeah, it's interesting. You can't tell that Rose is running in a pro-Trump district by how he tries to separate himself from the Democratic Party. Difficult tap dance to do because he needs Dems to vote for him. And it seems unlikely someone who voted for Trump would vote right. for him this time around. How's he trying to but pull he has that to get off? Those voters. Yeah. Exactly. Max Rose is not your mainstream Democratic candidate. You mm -hmm. are going to see some similarities between him and Nicole Maliotakis when it comes to things like crime. They both want to see changes to bail reform. Mm -hmm. They also both want taxes cut. We're really going to see the, the difference here for Max Rose is he wants to see Roe versus Wade codified on the federal level. Mm -hmm. So abortion, election integrity. He's going to point out how Nicole Maliotakis voted against certifying the 2020 presidential election. Now, I did find it interesting that he really sides this question about asylum seekers. We asked him three times if he would support or oppose more shelters in his district, and he's really avoiding that question. Mm -hmm. Now, he is trailing in the polls right now, but he tells me he's optimistic. Yeah, and he was in office two years ago. It's interesting. Things can change fast. All right. Well, Morgan, we we'll see. It. Thank you.